Hello and welcome to Inside HCSO. I'm Deputy Kathy Hernandez and you're going to like what's coming up. Let's do it. We recently traveled to a kennel in Pennsylvania to select a new member of HCSO's canine unit. Some veteran canine deputies checked out the dogs. He needed to display certain characteristics and temperament to endure training to eventually accompany our SWAT operators on calls for service. The dog, a Belgian Malmois, is named Morel in recognition of veteran deputy Larry Morel, who passed away last year from cancer. Morel and his partner, Master Deputy Brian Polito, are already in training. Welcome to Team HCSO Morel. With his accomplice outside in their getaway car, the suspect wrapped a bandana around his face, put on a blonde wig, and entered a Circle K in two Dunkin' Donuts carrying a loaded shotgun. A citizen who saw one of the brazen robberies called us with a description of the White Wrangler as it left one of the crime scenes. An eagle-eyed deputy, Tara Kazada, spotted the Jeep within 10 minutes. She and other deputies converged on the vehicle and arrested both occupants. In handcuffs, the male suspect offered an explanation. I made a stupid mistake. An argument over a girl ended in a disturbing act of violence that was captured on a surveillance camera. There was lots of shouting and threats, and then one of the men landed a haymaker. That's when the other man pulls a pistol from his shorts and begins firing. The victim took off running with the gunman still shooting. Five shots were fired, but none struck the victim. He was left with two bullet holes along the edge of his t-shirt. Detectives were able to locate the suspect a while later and arrest him. A 40-year-old woman out for a regular morning stroll along the sidewalk is lucky to be alive after a huge tree toppled on her. The woman was walking along Telfair Road when she and witnesses told deputies they heard and saw the tree fall, crashing through power lines and sprawling across the sidewalk and road. Deputies arrived to find the woman laying beneath the limbs and branches, screaming for help. Tico crews then cut the power to the lines so that Hillsborough Fire Rescue personnel could extract the woman. She escaped with no serious injuries. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like us, follow us, or subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes. Until next time, take care and be safe.